Welcome back. So now that we know the fundamentals on how to query a database, let us talk about the second most important thing that we need to do to make the information meaningful. And that is aggregation. So you would understand that we do not need to see the transaction line by line by line, but we need to aggregate the data at some level, for example, yearly level or account level or territory level to get the meaningful information. And we can do that right with an SQL. So let me show you the most basic one. So you have seen select the star from GL. Now you can also understand select amount from GL. Now what if, if I don't want to see the amount all the way? I don't want to see the amount for every single transaction. I want to see the total of the amount column. All I need to do is to use an aggregator function and let us begin with the sum. So let us use sum and then I will introduce you all the remaining aggregators towards the end. So I would say select sum and sum the amount from GL and now press F5 and you can see now you have your total amount given to you. After this, the next thing that we need to do is to be able to sum at different levels so you can understand that this total sum is not very meaningful for us but what we need to do is to be able to sum at different levels so for example if we want to uh, see the data at territory level what we need to do then so first of all we need to have a territory column here so that you know the system knows that what it needs to present is also available so i would say territory key and then I would say that please bring the sum, but this is not gonna work. So if I press enter now, if I press run, this is gonna give me an error, even though you can see that there is no such problem. What we are saying is select territory key and then the amount. If I press run it now, you can see the problem. And the problem here is that system knows that you want to know the sum and system knows that you want to know the territory key. But system will not itself assume that you want to do the sum at territory key level. This is what you will have to instruct separately. So all you need to do is to give a small instruction here and that is group by. And then this group by should be the same that is you given that is given here. So I'm gonna say territory underscore key and now press F5. And now you can see you have data for every single territory. It has been summed up for every single territory. By the way, you can see that this column name is missing. No problem. We can do that. So I would say as amount and now press F5 again. And you can see we have territory key and then we also have the amount. So let me repeat. Select the columns for amount we want aggregation. And then we have to mention the group by. So if you want to use any kind of aggregator, you also have to do the uh, aggregation here uh, by applying the group by command. Now, before I move forward, you must be noticing that these territory keys are given in a random order, three, six, seven. What I really want is I want to see them in the proper order. That is one, two, three, four, five. So all I'm going to do is I'm going to say order by territory key and press f5 and you can see that now your territories are also in the specific order that is territory key one two three four five but this last command is not something i really need for now so i can skip this part here so let us go back to the original query because i need to show you some additional parts so let me repeat select territory key and then sum the amount as amount the name should be amount from gl and then group by territory key. Now why this is important, why I'm insisting on this? Let me do it, let me explain this. So let us say, you not only want to see the territory key, you also want to see the account key. So I would say, select territory key and account underscore key. But now if I press enter, this is not gonna work. The reason is, you are asking the system to present the data not just in directory key and but also at the account key level but then the aggregation is only at the territory key 
the system is not gonna work because you know you are not asking it that you also need to aggregate it at the account key level so how do we do it so i would say group by territory key and then apply the comma and write the account key as well and now when i press f5 you can see that the system is aggregating the data at account key level and also at the territory key level to make it more meaningful we can apply the order by command order by uh, both of them so i would just copy paste from here territory key and the account key so let me press f5 again and now you can see that system has not just summarized the data it has also ordered it for a territory key one you have the account key one two ten twenty thirty forty and so on and then where the chart of accounts finishes the territory key two starts and then we have account key and so on so with very simple command of some amount and then using it together with the group by you can very easily aggregate your data now i hope that you are now confident using the sum function and the aggregation by applying the group by before we wind up let me show you something that is uh, you know another part of this and that is where command so what if if i don't want to see all of these ledgers i only want to see the account number 210 which is our sales ledger what we need to do is we need to apply the where command for that where account key is equal to 210 but i can't just write it towards the end this is a cache here what you need to do is you need to do it here select territory key account key sum as amount from gl at this place you need to write your where command so i would say go back and write it here where account key is equal to 210 and now when i press f5 my query will work completely fine and i should only be seeing the data where the account key is 210 run it now and you can see that our data has been filtered down so you can see that by applying the where command you can filter down your data even when there are aggregation and when there is other fun there other there are other functions in action like order by now of course re remembering this query is a little difficult and this part often you know a lot of people forget that what they need to write before and what they need to write after so what if if that happens to you and you write it this way and you write it towards the end if i press run now you can see there is a problem the ideal way to fix it would be i would recommend you that rather than wasting a lot of time here just copy this query from here and go to chat gpt in the chat gpt simply write please fix and then give your query and press enter and chat gpt will fix the problem for you so this is where you will find it very handy that when you have done most of your work and there are only small mistakes chat gpt can fix that for you very easily and since most of the times the mistakes are about commas and uh, just the order this is very very helpful now going back to my azure all i need to do is to copy paste and press f5 again and you can see we have our answers 